Today, we're looking at draft prospect Rashad Bateman. Let's talk Lions. Welcome back to an all new episode. We are one 10 day away from draft night. And if you're like, what's a 10 day? I mean, it's it's a week in the Forgotten Realms. So open up a D&D manual and then that reference will, that'll be there. Do remember that we will be live streaming the draft here on Let's Talk Lions draft night. So be prepared to come to enjoy, to hang out, to chat it up with me and a couple of the buddies as the draft is happening. So I look forward to seeing you there. With that being said, there is a ton of buzz, not just because it's spring and the bees are out, but there is a ton of buzz about Rashad Bateman potentially being drafted by the Lions. And so I wanted to take some time today, look at Rashad Bateman, see what Bateman has to offer and if the Lions really should look to draft him. Very specifically, some of that buzz has to do with the Lions potentially trading down and we know that Washington came out, rumor has it that they said, hey, we're looking to move up to seven or eight if Lance or Fields are available. So with that being said, the Lions could move down to the 19th spot and if they were to move back to 19, they could consider a wide receiver like Rashad Bateman. So I did my fair share of Sherlocking, a little bit of Holmesing, but but not Brad Holmes, though now that I'm thinking about it, that is a great combination. Sherlock Holmes, Brad Holmes, both of them detectives for who to pick in the draft. Good boy, son. So the first thing I started looking at were his stats. Specifically, I want to hone in on 2020. So he opted out originally of the 2020 season and then flipped a switch like every politician ever and said, you know what, I'm gonna opt back in. So he opts back into the 2020 season, only plays a total of five games, nothing to write home about. In fact, that's where I think a lot of his value has decreased. People looking on paper, really seeing 2020 and saying, oh, okay, like this is what he did in five games. It's not enough. And that's why I think he is falling further back in the first round than I really think he should. His first season at Minnesota in 2018, he ends up having 51 receptions, putting up a total of 704 yards. So you're looking at 13.8 yards per reception and a total of six TDs. Well, the following year, 2019, Bateman goes off. He has a total of 60 receptions. So only nine more receptions than the year prior. And he racked up a total of 1,219 yards. Bateman averaged at 20.3 yards per reception, totaling up 11 TDs. So with only nine more receptions, he almost doubles the amount of yards, just shy of double the amount of yards. He almost doubles the amount of touchdowns. He becomes a very valuable asset showing what he is good at his route running, his ball skills, looking at his speed. Bateman proves in 2019 his skills. Our guy runs a 4.39.40, so he's fast. And I really think him opting out and opting back in is what hurt him, hurt his value coming into this draft. Now look, if the Lions are able to trade back to the 19 spot and we want to give Jared Goff a weapon, a first round draft pick wide receiver to come to that wide receiver room to add to that core, I think Bateman is a phenomenal, phenomenal choice. Obviously, we need help in the wide receiver room. And yes, I know I'm pushing defensively first round over and over again. However, if we slide down to the 19 spot, Zayvon Collins isn't there. You're at 19, and so what do you do? Rashad Bateman would be a beautiful pickup for the Detroit Lions at 19. I love it. I love it because not only are you getting a high caliber wide receiver, but you're also picking up multiple additional draft picks from Washington if we were to make that move with them. And really, it all comes down to are either Fields or Lance available at seven? And if they are, Washington has the, it sounds like the idea that they would move up to the seventh spot for it. Also potentially the eighth. So fingers crossed, it's us. So that is it for today. Tell me, what do you think about Rashad Bateman? Is he somebody that you would be interested in seeing the Lions pick up if we were to trade back? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Oh, let's talk Lions.